Our cities in Australia are changing rapidly as our population grows. More and more people seem to be leaving the country and this has seen city living density increase. In most places close to the CBDs, this means backyards are disappearing. The reality is environments lush with plants and green are good for us, for our general health, our vitality and our mental health too. So what's being done to make sure we still enjoy green environments in these high density locations? Julian Rose from Deep Green Landscapes has recently completed an interesting new complex that delivers a lush tropical green environment. Julian, this is another interesting project for Deep Green Landscapes. You've built a lot of these styles of gardens. This one, I can't help but feel like I'm in some kind of luxury resort here. More and more we're seeing a lot more of these projects being built. We have big, lush, tropical style gardens in apartment building complexes. Mm -hmm. And this is a very great example of that. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way of creating a great space for people to live in and swim by the pool. When it comes to selecting all the species, some of these, they've got the exotic look like you'd see them in Thailand, but these are not varieties that originate from those climates, they originate from drier climates. Very much so. I mean, here we've got mainly natives with some exotics as well, mm -hmm. and the exotics that are designed more to like handle that hotter, drier climate. Mm -hmm. And doing work with the architects that designed it and the nurseries and everything is very, very important when it comes to us building projects like yeah. this to make sure we get the right plants in the right job. Julian's team have a speciality of creating living walls and green rooftops, which has been very popular with developers. As people seek more greenery, one great benefit of living walls is the natural air conditioner effect. Now these plants literally take in stale carbon dioxide rich air and convert it to oxygen rich air. The exchange of moisture into the atmosphere actually changes the environment, making it more humid and enjoyable on hot days. Now speaking of water, uh, very exotic looking garden. Uh, how much water does it use? Does it use more water than a, a normal suburban garden? Well, Trevor, we're watering as per the water restrictions here, so we only get to water twice a week. Right. Uh, we've got a special engineered soil here that's not only lightweight to go up on the structural slab, but it has a lot of water holding capacity in it. So the idea is that it hangs onto the water long enough for the plants to get as much out of it as they can yep. before it drains away. And we specially designed that just for this project. What do people have to do to keep these plants looking great? We, we tend site here twice a week. A bit of trimming, a bit of pruning. Our main focus is fertilising. So on an on slab situation like this where we've got the raised planter beds, yep. we've got to keep the fertiliser levels up in the gardens. And you can see from all of the plants that we've got here, it's all looking green and lush. You've done a great job. Another wonderful place for people to live in. And it's all just through a lot of thought and planning. Well done. Yeah, thanks a lot, Trevor. For residents, the feeling must be like living in a resort. Pools, lush gardens, entertaining areas, they all make for a great quality of life.